Hi everyone, this is Ida with Created to Create. I have a project share. Um, I received a new die in the mail that I had. I thought it was super cute, and I wanted to play with it. And the um, and I'm going to share you. I'm going to share with you the die that that I picked up. Look at this beautiful little teeny tiny bird, and I think it's by Yvonne Creations. Um, and he's got the little uh, little um, the little scully. And then the little um, scarf. And I think it is super cute. The first one I made was ugly. Let me share it with you. <laughs> it was so ugly. I tried uh, coloring it a little bit. I thought I had it up here. Here it is. I tried coloring it. And my coloring skills were not are not good. So I ended up ruining the scarf and the little hat. And I didn't like the way it looked. Uh, but the reason I'm sharing this with you is because um, there's some little stars right there where the eyes are. And if you don't put some kind of contrasting color behind there, you won't be able to tell that that's what that is. But they're like little stars above his eyes or her eyes. Uh, mine's a girl. Mine has a nest with eggs. So anyway, um, that's why I kept this so I can share with you that there are little stars there. And uh, so that was the first one that I made, and I didn't like it, uh, but I kept playing around with it. Um, I'm going to link this in the description box. I kept playing around with it, and um, my second one turned out a whole lot nicer. <laughs> Here's my second one. I cut it out in some scraps of paper, again, guys, that I had um, from that blue paper I was using from St uh, Stamperia. And then I cut out the, the little hat and the little uh, scarf in white. And I kind of just used one of my alcohol markers to add just a little bit of color to it. And I uh, added some stickles on it. See the above the eyes? You can't really see the stars on this one. Because the uh, I just added stickles to the little stars hoping to define them a little bit. And it didn't work. Uh, so you definitely have to put a contrasting color, whether it be glitter or whatever it is. If you want it to show up, I recommend just sliding a piece of paper behind it instead of trying to color it in or fill it in. Uh, then I cut one of those little styrofoam balls in half to make it look like it was a pom-pom on the top of uh, the, the hat. And I did add a little blush to the cheeks. And uh, I did add a little bit of dimension on the hat and on the scarf. The belly, I, t I colored it yellow. And then I used a Tim, uh, not a Tim Holtz, a branch. Let me share that with you. This branch came from, um, I've had this a couple of years already, so I don't even know if it's still available. This bird dye uh, that's got the nest and the two birds. And I didn't use the whole thing. I cut it out three times, twice in 110 pound cardstock and once in the white glitter paper but what I did was I snipped off the birds because I didn't want the birds there because I was going to add this one but I did want the branch and the nest part so um, anyway uh, here's the little branch and I had did have to trim it because it was too big for the tag and I added a little bit I don't know if you can see that little crinkle right there that little crinkle shred that I like to do different things with it so I added a little bit of crinkle in the nest to look like the straw that's in the nest I added three flat back pearls in the lapel blue for the little eggs and then on the tag itself I have little snowflakes you can see one right there but they're little iridescent snowflakes throughout the, the tag um, the tag that I used was gifted to me by Carolyn um, her channel name is Tea Time and Dolls, and um, she sent me this tag with a happy mail or birthday mail. I think it was birthday mail that uh, Carolyn sent this to me for. Anyway, I didn't own these tags, and she bought these for me. And these are designed, I believe, by Nicole Silhouette. So I used the bigger one of the two. I used the inset and the outer frame to this. So that's another uh, die that I used to cut the tag but it could be any tag you know um, I just was kind of missed I like to play around when I when I have something and I know I haven't played with it I tried to design something using that item because uh, I don't like to waste so anyway uh, I, I cut out the outer fr frame like in a pelt in a cream and pink color and then the inside I used that paper pad that I hauled from Tuesday morning uh, 
uh, the blue one for Christmas. And then, of course, here's the little bird. And it's all different papers, guys. This little bird was cut, up, cut out of the, the Stamperia Blue Land paper. Uh, and what else? And then this ribbon, I just picked it up, I think, at Walmart or something. Or Joann's. I don't remember. Here recently. And then I added a couple of little uh, tiny silver bells right here. These, I don't even know where I got them from. I had them in a box and... Um, and I had two little ones, so those are the ones I added there. This uh, stamp set came from, I bought this uh, little cheapy stamp set from Amazon a while back. And I don't think it's available anymore, guys. Or if it is, I, I won't be able to find it because there's like no item number or anything like that. And I used the Warm Wishes from here. And I also like the From Our, from our Home to Yours. I could have gone either way and it still would have looked nice. Um... But I, the reason I bought this was because it was with other, uh, I think it was like a set of four stamp sets that I wanted. And this wasn't one of them, but this was in there and I like the small sentiments. So I used that one. And that's all I used for here. Mo mostly, like I said, a tag die, the little bird, the branch. Uh, and I like the way it came out. I didn't do anything to the back. I haven't even put the two or from because I'm going to put it, I like to add them separate on a garment pin. So after I was playing with that, I thought I should have put a window in front of him, her, to make it look like uh, somebody's looking out the window and this is what they see. So I created another one using the uh, the tag that is by, um, I use the pre-made tags by Graphic45. They're the square uh, black tags. And I only had them in black. I didn't have them in any other color. I really would have liked them in a lighter color. And I wish that Graphic 45 would make the pre-made tags with the grommets already in uh, different colors. And if not in different colors, at least in a white. Because that way we could use any color. Uh, and I used the tag die that, co that goes... this. These tags coordinate with this tag die. I'll list these in the description. So I used these two items... And I used the bird again. And for the window, I used the uh, Tim Holtz. I had the Biggs die. I had never used it. I've had this a, a while, and I hadn't used it for anything. And I recalled that I had it. And I do have two other windows that my friend Carolyn gifted me, but they were too big uh, for a tag. So I ended up um, using the Tim Holtz one, and it was the perfect size for the tag that I was creating. Again, if this is available, I'll list it in the description box. If I don't list it, it's because I couldn't find it or it's not available anymore. And um, But anyway, here is that tag. And because it was in black, I used that um, the glitter kiss in the silver, hoping to camouflage the black a little bit. And um, it, it's okay, but you can still see a lot of the black. You know, I didn't want to do too much because uh, then it would take a while to dry. So I didn't want to do too much, but uh, I really love this the glitter kiss that um, how it looks on paper and everything. And then here's the bird on the inside. Now this time on his little hat, I put a little piece of this yarn that I used here as the hanging element. This is a very plush, fluffy yarn. I used it on the brim of the little hat. Uh, there is part of the branch and again I used the crinkle right here and I added the three little eggs to the nest and this warm wishes again is from that same stamp set I shared with you but the little die that I used to cut it out is comes from this set right here and it's this bar right here this is by Sizzix and I will list this I absolutely love this die for sentiments um, and I love all the different frames that it comes comes with and then you can layer the little bars to them So this is a really nice die. I've had it a long time. So I don't know if it's available, but if it is I'll link it and um, The poinsettias Look at the beautiful poinsettias. These were gifted to me I put them all in one bag sis by my friend Sabrina who is the S Factor studio here on YouTube she sent me a bunch of uh, she, a bunch of the heartfelt creation uh, die die cuts uh, from the poinsettia, and all I did they were already uh, shaped and everything for me. She did all the work for me. 
all I had to do was stack them up and I did add glitterific because I didn't want to lose the integrity of the lines the stamping that was on them so I just added the red glitterifics I added a little flower center a little metal flower center and then a little uh, gem in the center of that the holly leaves again all I did was add the um, stickles to them because they were already stamped they were already shaped the only other thing that I did cut out was this uh, little die back here and that is uh, by Cottage Cuts let me share with you what that looks like that is by Cottage Cuts and it's this belief one that has the holly little um, uh, piece right here I didn't use the word belief but I did use this and I cut it in a, a glitter paper in like a lime glitter, uh, glitter paper and I added I turned this one into a shaker this one is a shaker um, I wish I had put a little bit more um, that I had cut the uh, the window out one more time and what I used to cut the window out is I used that uh, uh, foam board from the Dollar Tree that's what I used to cut because what I like about that is that it has paper on both sides so paper glues very well to paper so if I cut it out in the foam board and I go to add my other piece on top it's gonna adhere very well because it's it's got a layer of paper on both sides so but what I wish that I had done either cut out this grid that was in the center so my sequence could move because I had to add sequence into all four sections because of the grid that was in the middle I didn't cut it out and then I cut a piece of uh, just craft colored heavyweight craft color paper I cut the window out with that after I had cut it out with the foam board I cut it out with that uh, and all I did was I embossed it I did emboss it because I wanted it to look like a wooden uh, window casing or frame and I used this 3d embossing folder by Tim Holtz and I love 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 this uh, wood grain embossing folder so I did emboss it with this to give it that uh, to look like wood and it looks kind of rustic to be quite honest and then I added some um, just some walnut colored uh, um, ink with a bl blending brush to bring in the highlights or the embossing that was on the window I love the way this one came out as well again I added another holly from my friend uh, Sabrina and I did add some uh, little red berries or bling from one of the embellishment boxes of that I that I hosted last year um, so I was able to use some of the berries that were in that and uh, and then I added some little snow on like the corners and the ledge of the window right here on the outside I added some snow just for added you know something different texture and again I used the um, the the yarn to try for the hanging element and for the bow I did try using red and green and I felt like it, it was too much but when I put the white one on there for me it looked nicer so I added the white again it has the little um, yarn on the top on the brim of the hat and the little uh, foam ball and I and what I do is I get a little foam ball the, the bigger size and I snip it in half and it gives me a flat bottom and I save the other half and I use it on something else um, and that's how I get the little pom-poms to sit flat on there all in all I love the way this turned out and on the back I embossed it again with a 3d embossing folder and that one is I don't have the package with me but I will list it it's this one um, it's a Sizzix die but I'm not sure if it's a Tim Holtz it might be but I'll list this one and I absolutely I bought this last year and I've only used it I think once so I was able to uh, use it again right here and I kind of positioned my paper just where the fa la la was and um, so it would be on the back of the center of my tag but that is the second tag that I created um, all in all I like the, the pastel the light colored one I really do but it's something about the one with the window that I really like uh, the best for for me I like the one with the window the best but I like both of them so anyway this is what I created I hope that this gives you ideas and that you guys try it um, I'm going to be working on a, a um, I've been asked to do a, um, whatchamacallit, 
a mem a faith inspired memory decks card and a holder for that so i think i'm going to be working on that um have a few ideas but we'll see but anyway this is what i wanted to share with you today and i did pick up some new dies from amazon or yeah dies and stamp sets and i will be sharing that with you actually i'm going to share one of them with you right now in case you guys want to grab it hold on one second what did i do with it what did i do with it guys i'm always misplacing my stuff oh here it is here it is i ordered a another of the I ordered another one of the Peachy Keen uh, faces, and this one is called Christmas in July Face Assortment. And what it is, it looks like you get a bunch of expressions, but it's not. You only get six of them, but they're in different sizes, ranging from uh, three-eighths of an inch all the way to an inch. And these are, again, they're called Christmas in July Face Assortments, and they are by Peachy Keen. And I will list these because I just got these, so I know they're still available for anybody who does any kind of gingerbread, snowmans. You know, these are great ex uh, uh, facial expressions for that. And it kind of, you know, I'm not an artist. So for me, I can't draw a face on anything. And this really helps me out in that area because, like I said, I'm not an artist or an artist that can sketch and draw, should I say. Because, you know, even what we do with our cards and, and our embellishments, that is still a form of art. But I'm not one that can draw uh, a face or a person or, you know, an expression. I, it, that's just not me. So this really helps me out. Anyway, guys, this is all that I have to share with you today. I hope that you saw some things that you like or that you might want to try. Thank you, Sabrina, so much for um, my poinsettias. Poinsettias. I call them poinsettias. Um, they really help me out because <laughs> I hate to die cut, guys. I really do. So this saved all the work for me. All I had to do was add the glitterific to them and layer them up, layer them up and look at how beautiful they look. Thanks, sis. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope everyone has a great day, and God bless. Bye.